what's up everybody supreme decisions here and yes tonight actually doing a little bit of road work not necessarily in the studio tonight but it is what it is because we still gotta put in some work right love you guys well tonight it goes into a next part because one of the things i want to talk about is the removal of different types of cases to federal court and the reasons why but one of the biggest things about that that you run into most often is this thing called equal protection the reason why you do or move an equal protection case to federal court from a state court setting is generally because you're not able to get your hell most of the time your actual complete case or even bits and pieces of your case heard and heard properly so you have a removal which is dealing with again equal protection well i'm going to get into a couple of those the first one is georgia v rochelle 384 us 780 and it's a 1966 case a right under any law providing for equal civil rights of citizens of the United States. One, the petitioner must show that he or she has been denied or cannot enforce that right in a state court. This is something that comes up in that big word, child support cases, because a lot of times you're dealing with a not necessarily criminal case, but you're dealing with a forced contract and it is more like in the setting of an arbitration. There is a removal for that. Or you're dealing with a family court case, which people have those issues, and you're not able as a man, for the most part, to get your side heard. One of these things to keep it lawful is going through a federal court removal. But again, Georgia v. Rochelle, states the petition must show they have been denied and cannot enforce that right in state courts the way you show it you're gonna have to tune into the master class for that but part two the petitioner must show that right upon which the petitioner relies arises under a federal law providing for a specific civil right stated in the terms of like in this case a racial equality it does not have to be a racial equality it just has to be something that is done not sure why i put that in there but generally that's going to fall under a 1443 removal a second part of that is boiling v sharp 347 us 497 and this is a 1954 case so understand these removals are not new they are just not exercised as often as they should be. The court observed that the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution lacked an equal protection clause, as in the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution. The court held, however, that the concepts of equal protection and due process are not mutually exclusive. So again, when we're talking about cases being removed from state courts into federal courts, it's generally because of due process issues, because you have a right that is not being or cannot be enforced in a state court for one reason or another, which you have to show. The concepts of equal protection and due process, both stemming from our American idea of fairness are not mutually exclusive. Discrimination may also be unjustifiable as a viable source of due process. What that pretty much says in a nutshell, just kind of breaking it down to, for the layman. There are several pretty much levels to due process there are several levels to equal protection. Everyone as a human being is afforded equal protection under the law, which is why whenever we talk about these instances, 
not only are police officers held under federal law and guidelines, so are the prosecutors, the defense attorneys, as well as the judges, even the judgings. So keep that in mind as we go forward. Now, like I told you, I go deeper in my master class. These are things that you wanna sign up for. So sign up immediately. Even if you're not doing the master class, don't forget, support the channel, hit one of the donation links. Love you guys. See you in the class.